All right, so welcome back to Deliver Coding. In today's video, we're going to do Firebase uh, pagination uh, with our React project. So, and this is uh, the demo look like. So uh, we have a list of color right here that I read from the Cloud Firestore. And when I scroll down, there's a button to view more. So when I click view more, it's going to fetch more colors. And then when I click and click more, and when there's no more color, we display the message that there's no more colors. All right, so let's get started. All right, so here I'm using VS Code, so you can use any ticket that you want. And this is just a boilerplate from Create React App. So at the moment, it just display hello world, and I have the app.css right here that just do the text center. And in here, uh, I have the my Firebase project, so I'm going to choose one of my project here. So we're going to set up the Firebase project into our React apps. And also you need to install the this one into your project as well. Uh, for this one, I have create already create the data the, for our do the pagination of our data. All right, so I'm going to explain uh, what this, this data has. And first, I'm going to config the uh, Firebase first. So I'm going here, I'm going to need to get the config key. Uh, OK, so this one. So I'm going to copy and paste this one. This is so this is what we're going to need. So I'll go back in here. So in the source folder, I'm going to create the folder called configs. And then in here, I'm going to create the let's say just index.js. And I'm going to paste this one. And then I'm going to change this one to cons. So I have already installed the Firebase already. And then what I'm going to do is to import Firebase from uh, Firebase. Okay. And then the next thing is I'm going to do export default uh, Firebase. All right. So that's all for our uh, setup with Firebase. And so I'll go back in here. I'm going to explain what uh, data that I'm going to have. So in my Cloud Firestore, I have the collection called Colors. In Color, I have six documentation. And in here, we're going to have the field of the colors and with the Unix ID, which is a number. So we have one to six so because I have six uh, documents. So what I'm going to do is to fetch three. The first, f the first load, I'm going to fetch three. And then when the user scrolls at the bottom, they fetch another three after uh, our previous three. So that's what we're going to do. So right now, I'm going to uh, put this one in small screen so we can see that. And this one is just hello world. All right, so go back into the app.js. So what I'm going to do is when we unload, we want to fetch the first three color. So what we're going to do is to we're going to use uh, use effects. All right. So use effects, and then I think it actually auto import for me. Nice. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to create the reference for to our collections. So our Firebase dot Firestore. No. So it's not auto import for me. So I need to do that manually. So Firebase from um, this one. Go. We need to go to config, and that's it. And then from here, I can do Firestore, and then we're going to do our collections. And my collection is going to be colors, maybe yours, might be different. And what I need is to have these first three that order by the ID. So as you can see right here, we have an ID. So I want the order by ID to so start from one to three. So that's what I do. So I need to order by. So my field right here, we have the ID. If you have like the data that have a date, you can do like order by date. And then I want from smallest to the biggest. So I'm going to do ACE, uh, SE right here. And also we have, I think we're uh, the this one right here as well. So it's from biggest to the smallest. Or if in case of date, uh, this one is going to be from the latest to the oldest. And this one from the oldest to the latest. I'm not sure as well. I think that's it. So this one I from the get the small to big, and then I want to limit this one. So limit, so it means I'm going to take the some amount of uh, document from the collection. So in, in my case, I'm going to, uh, I'm interested only get from three in this one. So then next I'm going to do get. All right, so this is going to return as a promise. I'm going to do dot then, and then we're going to have the collection queries uh, snapshots. 
So I'm going to do collection here. And right now we just console.lock our collection first. Collection.docs. Alright, so go back in here. We should see that. Go in this one. I, and let me uh, put you at the bottom. Okay, nice. And I'm going to create this line. So as you can see right now, we, we can see we have these three uh, documents, which is nice. If we get from this collection, let's see, what can we get from this collection? All right, so from this collection, we have the docs, as you can see, and now we also have a psi. And the psi is going to be three, and we have the docs with the array of three. So we're going to need this doc right here. So what I'm going to do is to store that one into the state. So I'm going to create a state called colors. And then I'm going to set, all right, let's say list of colors. And then we're gonna do the set list of colors. It's gonna be equal to use state. So for initial, I'm gonna give this a blank, uh, this one, at the empty array. And then what I'm gonna do is collection dot docs dot maps. And now we're gonna have the color. So we're gonna return the colors. Uh, returned. So oh yeah, since we use arrow function, we don't need to word return. And I'm going to do the color.data as the function. And then this one is going to have the array. So let's say colors. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set list of color with the colors right here. All right. So next is what? Um, so we're going to display this one uh, to check that. So first I'm going to check if list of color.length is equal zero uh, if like it's if we check if it's being fetched um, so I'm gonna do h1 loadings and then if when we have this one then we're gonna return this one so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do list of color that map and then we're gonna have individual colors uh, I'm gonna call this one items and then we're gonna index for the key and then we're going to return the div right here. All right, cool. And then this one I'm going to give the key is going to be equal to index. And then the text inside here is going to be items.color. All right, so if we save this one, as you can see right now, we have the three color. Okay, if I refresh this one. And if you want to see the ID, um, we can do the items.id uh, as well. So uh, we can see from one to three, nice. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this one. And instead I'm gonna do some styling to this one. So I'm gonna do inline style. And then I'm gonna give this one a background with the items.color because in my Cloud Firestore right here, I have the color with the hex color. Okay, nice. And then I'm gonna give the height of this one to let's say 10 bh. Okay, that should increasing the size. Okay, it's not really large. So I'm gonna give 50. My 50 is too much. <laughs> so I'm gonna give 20 only. Okay, that's nice. And then now we have this one. So we're gonna have next, uh, we're gonna create the buttons uh, for the fetch more. So right now we're gonna have more. Okay, so right now we have the more button right here. So when this one is on click, we want to fetch the data from four to uh, from four to five. So four to five six, we want another three. So let's say I'm gonna call this one fetch more. All right, and go right now. It's gonna error because we did not create it yet. So what I'm gonna do is fetch more. All right, this one, and then right now the error should go away. So let's talk about the fetch more. How does it work? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fetch more. Uh, we're gonna fetch another three that after this after this three. So what we're interested in is to uh, four, five, and six. So we need to target that we want to fetch after this one. So so then we need to store our last document when we first fetch the first three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create the last docs right here. It's gonna be equal to collections dot so in here that docs which is going to be 
because in our doc right here is an array so we want to have the last one of the last last document so dot uh, docs dot length length nope I cannot spell length so it's gonna be minus one so now we get the last docs and then we uh, what I want to do is to store this one in state so then we can reuse this one so it's gonna be last docs and then we're gonna set last docs and then we're gonna do use state again use state and this one is can just be null for now and then I'm gonna do set last docs is with the last docs so now we have the last docs so what I'm gonna do is to use this one to fetch uh, we use this one to fetch more so what, what I'm gonna do is to do exactly the same things so firebase dot firestore so I'm gonna refactor this one after uh, we make it work first so we're gonna be colors of a document and then we're gonna do order by order by ID it's the same things and then what I'm gonna do is to we need to after this one we need to start after our last docs we fetch the same thing but we need to fetch after this one our last doc which is three so then we're gonna do limit to uh, limit this one let's say limit three uh, the same things and then we do dot get so everything is the same things so which um, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna copy uh, paste this one so we're gonna refactor this later on so then we have the docs right here and then what we're gonna do is to uh, instead of this one we need to spread this one so what we're gonna do is to have this one with the color but this is going to be our uh, existing state and then with our new state is going to be colors right here so this is uh, okay this is one the list of color and then what we're gonna do is spread the list of color that we have uh, from our existing state and then we spread this one all right so I think that pretty much it so right now if I refresh so I get three and I click more that should give me four five and six nice um, and the last things so that right now our pagination works but um, as you can see right here you know, we, we click more we don't have the another data after six is our data have only six so we need to so we fetch more it's gonna be crash or it's not gonna crash okay this is gonna crash because we don't we doesn't have that data so what we're gonna do is we need to check if our collection docs have uh, the size or not like if we have a document or not so then we're gonna fetch that if it's not we're gonna do we're not gonna do this one so the first thing first I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refactor this one because as you can see top and bottom is we duplicate this one so what I'm gonna do is create the reference for this one color ref to my color collections and since this one is duplicate so I'm gonna cut this one and paste it right here and then I can just do the color ref right here and then same thing for this one color ref okay that should work now and then this one is gonna be duplicated so what I'm gonna do is to create a function called update state is equal to this one and then we're gonna paste um, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna paste this one inside here and then what we need is the collection as a parameter nice and then in here we're gonna call use uh, let's say update state we need to pass our collections in uh, this one okay that's nice this one is gonna be exactly the same things uh, you state this one it's gonna be collections all right so right right now let's test if it works or not okay it works but we, what we need to have a visual to the user that uh, it's being fetched because right now if we click more it just pop up immediately we didn't display that it's being fetched or not so to do that are we going to create another state called loading so what I'm going to do is to have the loading that said that uh, tell the user that being being fetched right now so it's gonna be use state I'm gonna do fall here and then 
So whenever the user click on fetch right here, we're gonna set the loading to be true. So that's it, mean loading is true. And then we're gonna display this one. All right, let's see. So for now, let's say if it's loading, so we can do loading. If it's loading, we're gonna display the H1. Whoops, H1 loading. Oops, uh, loading. Okay, and then after we got the data, so we need to set the loading back to false. So if this one, after we got the data, we need to loading back to false. So now if I refresh, I click more, as you can see, we have a loading and that's nice. So, but when we do loading, we don't want to see this put on right here. So it means the loading is false. So if not loading, so we're gonna do this one. When with loading, we don't want to see this put on. Okay, so right now if I refresh, click again, so when we're loading, we doesn't have the more button, and then when we after fetch, we can see the more button box. So next we're gonna deal with uh, this one, the error right here. So right now, uh, it's going to crash. I click again, yes. So what we're gonna do is to, we're gonna check our collection right here. So we're gonna create this one, is uh, collection empty. Mm, MT MT is going to be equal to collection dot psi. So we can check this one collections dot psi is going to be equal to zero. So then we're going to do if collection is not empty. If it's not empty, we're going to do this one. Else we're going to do What's else? So else we're gonna tell that the collection is empty. So to do that, um, what I'm gonna do is uh, create another state call. We, we tell that is empty. So it's empty. So it's empty. Set is empty. And then what we're gonna do is you state this one is gonna be full. And then we're gonna have the H ones right here. Let's say there are no more document or data something like that and then we're gonna do is empty so if it's empty we're gonna do this one so this one what I'm gonna do set the empty is empty to be true okay so let's see I think the loading here should be outside so right now if we refresh we get more if I click it's loading it's fetch more and I click in here as you can see, there's no more data. So right now we that we doesn't have more data, but um, we need to undisplay the this one. So to do that, uh, what I can do is to do in here. We can do like if uh, if it's empty. So this one, and um, let's say if empty. Okay, if it's empty, it's not empty. If it's not empty, we're gonna do this one. But since now it's empty, it's gonna uh, go on this one. So I think that's it. So right now, we click more, we got loading. If I click more, we display there's no more data. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for you know, this video. And for the styling, I'm not concerned about this one. I'm just seeing about the functionality. And I hope you like this one. And you can do uh, learn, and you can learn from this one. And don't forget to. Um, like and share this one with your friend and I hope this video have you thank you for watching until the end all right see you guys in the next video peace